So Amber completed a quiz with 30 questions. For every correct answer, she was awarded three points. For every wrong answer, two points were deducted. If Amber got 40 points for the quiz, how many did she answer correctly? Okay, so out of the 30 questions, if you look at this, we, we have no idea out of the 30, how many did she get correct? We also have no idea how many did she get wrong? Okay, so we only know that she scored 40 points and she have a total of, there's a total of 30 questions. Okay, so some of your schools might teach you to use guess and check or try and error for this question. Now that's fine, okay, but um, of course we have another method that we can use, which is a simpler method, more straightforward for you to get the correct answer straight away. And that is called our supposition method. Or also known as assumption. Okay. Now, there is another kind of supposition concept, all right, which you will see in another video. Now, so this is what we call indirect supposition. Okay, it's already written there, the concept name, indirect supposition. Okay, so um, what I suggest you to do is to watch the direct supposition video first before you come to this to get a clearer idea of, you know, the difference between this and the direct one. Okay, now for this indirect supposition question, all right, we call this supposition with penalty. You know, that's another word for it. Why penalty? Because every time you get a wrong answer, you get deducted two points. Okay, so that itself is a penalty. So for this kind of supposition with penalty questions, first thing first, we always suppose the happy outcome. Suppose the most positive outcome. So what do I mean by the positive outcome? That means I suppose all the 30 questions, she answered everything correctly. Perfect score. Okay, so that's my first sentence to write down. Suppose all are correct. So the word suppose means to pretend or to imagine. Imagine she's got everything correctly. Now, if I, if I suppose all are correct, okay, so I'm going to draw a diagram. Now, of course, I'm not going to draw 30 questions out. So let's just draw about two or three of this um, logo. You can just put C and then just circle it. So if you don't want to use a tick, you can do this. C indicate correct ones. Okay, then just put dot, dot, dot to indicate many, many more that you are not going to draw out. All this will be your 30 questions. Right? And she's getting them correct because we imagine all are correct. Okay. Now, from all these 30 correct questions, we would like to find out what is the total score that she could have scored. Total marks. Okay. So for every correct answer, you are awarded three points. So if you get all 30 questions correct, that means you can be awarded 90 points. Right? 30 times 3. So let's write it back down here. This will be 90 marks or 90 points. Now, but did she really score 90 points? Okay, so if you look back at the question, they say she only scored 40 points for the quiz. A perfect score would be 90 points, but seeing that she only scored 40 marks, that means um, she must have gotten some questions wrong, for sure. Okay, so we're going to find out how many marks did she lose. Okay, so we call that the extra, because in this case, in our diagram, 90 is too much. We know that she only scored 40, so we need to try to reduce the number of marks from here to 40. And when I say extra, means what's the extra number of marks to remove from this whole diagram, to take out from this diagram? Okay, so simply take your 90 points minus the one that she's got, 90 minus 40. All right, that means she lose 50 marks. She lost a total of 50 marks. So we can write it back down the diagram to remove 50 points from the diagram. Okay, so sometimes, uh, I mean, if you look at your direct supposition question, sometimes here will be to introduce more legs or more wheels. Okay, but for penalty question generally, it's usually to remove because we started off with always the positive outcome. Okay, so for to remove 50 points, now, to remove 50 points, I cannot just, it would be impossible to just say I remove questions from the quiz. Uh, and then that's how I can remove 50 points. It doesn't make sense, right? 
Okay, so I can't take out questions from the quiz. So the only way to remove 50 points from this diagram is to perform an exchange. An exchange of a correct answer to a wrong answer. Okay, so that'll be our third step. So in our one exchange, we're going to strike this off. That is correct. Replace it with a wrong question, wrong answer. You can just put that deal for a circle if you like to, to represent wrong. Okay, so in this one exchange, now, okay, sorry, a bit too fast. Now, in every, um, every time you get a wrong question, what we know is that two points were deducted. Okay, so every wrong question, minus two points. Now, what about the correct question? Okay, so my target here, actually what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find out in every one exchange, how many points am I losing? All right, so that's something to think about. Are we just losing two points? Okay, so in fact, if you get a wrong question, yes, they deduct two points from you, but don't forget, these three points that you suppose you were supposed to get, if let's say you get correct, but since now you get wrong, you don't even get to be awarded these three points as well. Okay, so that means, you see, in this every exchange, you are losing not just two points, but you're losing another three points as well because you don't even get to gain these three points since you get a question wrong. And then you still have to be further deducted another two points here. Okay, so the loss is pretty huge if you notice. So in every one exchange here, I hope you can tell that the loss is five points in total. So how to get five? Simply because 2 plus 3. So that is your one exchange step here. So in every one exchange, you lost a total of 5 marks or 5 points. Now, to remove 50 points, that means to lose 50 points from this diagram, of course, one exchange is not enough to achieve this because one exchange only allows me to lose 5 points. Okay, so I need many, many more exchanges for me to lose 50 points. So I need to focus on using the 5 as well as the 50 here to work out my number of exchanges. So in one exchange, I lose 5. In two exchanges, I lose 10, correct? 5 and plus 5 and 5 will be 10. If I, three exchanges will be 15 points lost. So this will go on and on until I lost 50 points. So I hope you can see it's multiples of 5, multiples of these groups. Okay, so to find number of exchanges, simply you divide. Take the total points to lose divided by the points lost per exchange. And there will be 10 exchanges. Okay. Now, the moment you have the number of exchanges already, you need to ask yourself and relate this 10 back to whether this 10 is it the correct questions or is it the wrong questions. Okay. So in one exchange, you are exchanging from correct to wrong. You always end up with a wrong question in every exchange, which means that if you have 10 exchanges, this 10 should represent 10 wrong questions, not the correct ones. And of course, from here, do not stop here. Look back at the question and see what they require. How many questions did she answer correctly? This is only the wrong ones. Okay, so we need to go on to find the number of correct questions very simple, simply just by taking the total questions minus away the ones that she got wrong. So simply your 30 minus 10. Okay, and that will be your 20 correct questions.